Good afternoon, everyone. I am Sarah Carroll from Wilson School District's Connected Classrooms in Berks County, Pennsylvania. Today I have our fifth graders at Cornwall Terrace Elementary School who are kicking off their language arts unit on voting. Today they're going to be Skyping with Senator David Arkell from Senate District 29. Please excuse our attire. This week, in honor of Red Ribbon Week, we are participating in a pajama-themed spirit day. Each classroom will have the opportunity today to ask the Senator two questions about voting. Let us begin by introducing everyone. Please say hello to Mrs. Peterson's class. Hi. Hi. Mrs. Kreebel's class. Hi. Mr. Riffle's class. Hi. Mrs. Widenhammer's class. Hi. And our guest of honor today, Pennsylvania Senator David Argel. All right, we're going to start with Mrs. Peterson's class. They have two questions for you. Hi, my name is Maddie, and I was wondering what's your favorite thing about being a senator? I'm an old Boy Scout, and so the opportunity to be able to help people every day uh, is a really important part of the job, and it's, it's certainly something that I like. It, it might vary. Every day is different. I might have a uh, an 80 year old woman out here uh, talking to us about a, a missing driver's license, and then the next minute I might have a mayor on the phone who's looking for two million dollars to fix a road. And so we we try to help people with both the little problems and the big problems. Thanks. Hi, I'm Jonathan. After work, do you have any free time? And if so, what do you enjoy? I like to go hiking. I like to go camping. Uh, I have a couple of crazy dogs who sometimes come to the office. Uh, they're not here today, although I wish I would have thought of it. I bet you would have enjoyed meeting them too. Uh, although they probably wouldn't have stayed on the camera. They don't behave very well. And uh, I also try to do a little bit of kayaking from time to time and so yeah those are the things I really like thank you okay now we're going to move to Mrs. Kreebel's class they also have two questions for you I'm Molly and I was wondering what advice would you give to people who are interested in politics uh, I had a fifth grade teacher by the name of uh, Mrs. Hermony many many years ago who really must have had an interest in politics. There was a presidential election that year, and so we had some mock debates, we had some uh, mock elections, and uh, what, what I learned in fifth grade and then on through high school and college is that if you think you have an interest, uh, volunteer in a campaign, uh, help a candidate that you like, uh, maybe uh, do a job shadowing exercise, or a, uh, a summer job with a senator or a representative or a congressman. And, and what I've learned is that some people try it and they absolutely hate it. So they'll go off to, to do something else for their career. But once in a while you have someone who really, really likes the challenges that are involved in this and they end up uh, sticking with it for 10, 20, 30, 40 years. So that's a great question. Hi, I'm Kira. Was there something or someone that inspired you to become a senator? I mentioned my fifth grade teacher, and so I think she planted the, the idea in my, my head the first time. And then I went to work when I was in college for a summer for a man who was a, a state representative. And that's when I really learned a lot about the job. And so, yeah, I would say that uh, the Representative Klingeman was probably, uh, I guess you would call him my mentor. And so that's when I really decided that, that I was really wanting to, to go ahead and do something like this. Thank you. Okay, now we have two questions for Mrs. Widenhammer's class. You have 
to, to learn to manage your time. I have a lot of reading to do. I spend a lot of time on, on the road because I represent all of Schuylkill County and most of Western and Northern Schuylkill County. So that, that district, I think it, it covers 20 different school districts. And so time management is really important. And then what you decide is that, all right, this is something I wanna to do today. This may have to wait until next week or next month or next year. Uh, usually part of the week I'm at the state capitol in, uh, in Harrisburg, and then the rest of the week I'm in the district. Right now I'm in Monoy City. Uh, tomorrow, tomorrow night I'm heading down to Berks County. Uh, Friday, Friday I'm going to be in Berks County. One of the things I like about the job is that every day is a little bit different. No two days are the same. I never get bored in this job. very excited. I had been a representative for a long time and then I had an opportunity to, uh, to run for the Senate uh, uh, five years ago and the differences are that Senator only has to run every four years in Pennsylvania. In the State House it's a two-year term and so you have a little bit more time to, to work on the job and a little less time having to, to work on the campaign. The trade-off though is my district is now four times bigger. I represent about 250,000 people. And so that's all of Spring Township, all of Sinking Spring, all the way up to, uh, to Bethel and Hamburg, and then all the way to McAdoo. And so, uh, like any other job, there's good and bad, but some days you think you're getting a lot done, and there's some days you feel like you're just standing there banging your head against the wall. Thank you. Okay. And our last class today, we have two questions from Mr. Riffle's room. That's probably the most challenging part of my job. It's a little bit easier now that my kids are grown, so that uh, when when I was trying to be the dad every day and the Boy Scout leader and still be there for my my daughter's uh, soccer games and her band practices and you know I'm fortunate that my wife handles a lot of those parts of the job too but it's like anything else it's a balancing act and there were some days I just had to put my work aside at the office and say okay you know I really want to be there for that Boy Scout meeting or that uh, that soccer match it's a little bit easier now, although even though the kids are grown, I still have those two dogs to take care of. And my wife is in the turkey business. Uh, she and her mom and dad and brothers and sisters run a, uh, a turkey operation. And as you might imagine, in October and November, when everybody wants to buy a turkey, she gets really busy. And so pretty soon I'm gonna have to start sneaking out from the job a little bit early to take care of those two crazy dogs that I talked about. Hi, my name is Jeremy, and I want to know if you and I were involved in politics, what would you do for a living? I have a, a doctorate degree in public policy, and I do teach uh, one college course on Monday nights at, at Penn State in, in Harrisburg. And so I guess if I wasn't a, a full-time senator, I'd want to be a, a full-time college professor. Uh, but I, I really do enjoy teaching the one course uh, a semester, but I think if I had to do two or three or four courses, I could never do that job and, and be a, a half-decent senator at the same time. And so, uh, yeah, I think, I think that's probably what, what I would end up doing. All right. Thank you so much for meeting with us today and kicking off our voting unit here at fifth grade at Cornwall Terrace Elementary School. Fifth grade, what do you say? All right. Take care. All right. And I'll just mention that sometimes fifth or sixth graders have me come into the class 
to do an exercise in, in how a bill becomes a law. It's part of the job I really like, and I've been doing it a long time. And so if you ever want me to come down to your school, you just uh, say the word and I'll be there. That would be fantastic. All right. Take Bye, care. Bye, everybody. Thank you.